Yes, hi, this is James Eamon, one of the reference librarians on the Fall River campus. <clears throat> and this is going to be a tutorial on uh, the database Academic Search Complete. So what you're looking at right now is our uh, library homepage. And we want to go to, to get to the databases, we want to go to A to Z databases. So click on A to Z, and then you want to click on it again right here when it pops up. And that brings you to our all of our databases in, in alphabetical order. We have 105 at this point. The one we're looking at today is Academic Search Complete. So click on Academic Search Complete. And you're going to be prompted for your barcode if you're not, for your ID if you're not on campus. And um, once you put it in, you should get this page. And this is the main search box, which we suggest that students not use. So click on Advanced Search. And that just brings up uh, this page with multiple boxes and the reason we do this and you can add boxes to this the reason we do this is because you can't put uh, long phrases in these databases or these boxes or sentences for that matter uh, you've got to put in terms and the terms have to be held together with these boolean connectors uh, and or and not and th this page provides um, the connectors which are very important so um, in my search, I'm looking for, I'm going to look for articles on the relationship between undocumented immigrants in the United States and the healthcare system. So let's put in undocumented in the first box, undocumented immigrants. In the second box, we're going to put in healthcare. And in the third box, we're going to put in United States. And click search. And we've got 549 hits, as you can see here. But before we go through these, we have to limit our searches, our search. So the first thing we want to do is click this full text box right here, this little box next to full text. Because some of these right now are abstracts, and we need to get rid of the abstracts. So now we have 422 full text articles. The next thing we need to do is limit by date. I'm going to limit this to five years. So scroll, slide this over to 2000. Uh, 17 or 18 and then last but not least we want to limit it to just academic journal articles so this box right here needs to be clicked and that should do it we have 81 hits and from here you just have to go through and look at the hits um, you can tell sometimes just by looking at the title if it's relevant. Um, this first one is definitely relevant. A, a, you know, a shortcut. I mean, the first thing I would do right now is click on the, the click on this title right here, and it would bring me to the abstract page. But a shortcut is to click on this little icon right here, and this will give you um, the abstract be, without even going into the page. So this is the abstract, and as I can see. Uh, this is an editorial, so this is not going to be something that I would want. So that eliminates that one. Okay, so let's go down here to a few more here. Um, Sometimes, you know, you get a lot. Sometimes you don't. You just got to go through these. Okay, this looks good right here. We can do something caring for the ongoing needs of undocumented patient. So click on the title here. And it brings us to um, this page, which is the abstract page. And this is the abstract, which is very brief, but it tells you what it's about. This article offers information on caring for the ongoing needs of the undocumented patient. Topics include facility, uh, blah, 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 dialysis. Anyway, so this looks good. So having, having read this, if you decide you want to use this article, you would want to go into the article first, the full text of the article. And the full text is right up here. You want to click on a PDF up in the left-hand corner. And that opens up the full text of the article. And then 
we would want to go back one screen if you decide you want to use this. And over here on the right-hand side is where you get your citation. So you click on Cite, and this window opens with multiple formats, and you would look for either APA or MLA. This is your APA citation right here. And further down would be your MLA citation right here. The other thing you could do, which we recommend, is, and you can just, if you decide to do it this way, you can just cut and paste the citation in your paper. Um, but we recommend using the email option. If you use the email option, um, you would just change this to MLA or APA, whatever format you're using. I'm going to use APA this time. Um, and make sure that this is, make sure you unclick the HTML. If PDF is here, unclick the HTML, and you'll get the PDF in a, as an attachment, and your citation will come in the body of your email. And over here on the left is where you put this, your, your email address. And then just click Send, and it will come in your email. So let's go back one screen and keep going down here. Um, This looks good right here. In class, another thing you can do, if you're looking at, when you hit hover over this icon right here, and the abstract comes up, and you decide you want it, the article, you could just click this little box right here, this little folder right here, and it puts this article in this folder. And I'll show you in just a minute what you do with the folder. You don't have to do it this way, but it's a shortcut. This is another good one, um, the adverse health effects of punitive immigration policies. So again, um, you can look at the abstract quickly. And if you decide you want it, you can click on this box right here, this folder, and it's going to go in the folder. This is about mothers with children. Again, we can just click on the, the icon. Here's the, the abstract. And again, you can put it in the folder. So as you go through these, this is the process you would do. And you don't need to use the folder option. You can just go right into the article. You can click the article as I showed you. Um, this is the citation right here as I mentioned a minute ago. And if you want it, then you would go up here to the PDF, click the PDF, the article opens up, and if you decide you want it, go back one screen, go over to the right-hand side, and click on email, change this to MLA or APA, Click, remove the HTML, and then put in your email address and send it to yourself. So the things you want to remember, very important, are limiting your, your searches. Once you put in your search string up here, your terms, you want to limit your searches to full text by date um, and by the document, the type of document. So that's it's very important to... Remember to click it. Click the undoc the um, academic journals, and just to note something that you should keep in mind: um, when you're limiting these, if you change your terms, if you decide to go up here and change your terms, and go back in for a second search, it every time it unclicks this box. As you can see, it just it's just unclicked it again. So you got to re-click the academic journals box. The other boxes stay clicked. But this one doesn't. Uh, okay, and so if you do use the folder option, which I just mentioned a minute ago, the top of the page, there's you'll see folder. Maybe it's not. Maybe you can't see it from where I'm at. Let me just try to move this up. This is the folder right here. If you click the folder, 
um, it's going to give you the articles that we put in the folder. So then you, then you can work from that particular folder. Okay, if you have any questions, um, you can email me at james.emond at bristolcc.edu, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.